Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 12th of 2025 is titled All the Water on Europa. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of several different things. In fact, two solar system objects, including our Earth on the right, and the moon of Jupiter, known as Europa, on the left. Now, Europa is actually a water world, and in fact, more so than Earth. The two small blue spheres represent the estimated amount of water existing on each of the two objects. So, on Earth, that would include all of the water in the oceans, lakes, streams, the polar caps and groundwater, everything that we know. All the water on Earth could be condensed into a ball of about the size shown there. And we can also see the same thing done for Europa. Now, Europa is much smaller than Earth. In fact, it's slightly smaller than our moon. But we can note that the amount of water there is far greater than the amount of water on Earth. So Europa is truly a water world in the solar system. We find this when we get to the outer parts of the solar system. There is a lot more water there than there is in the inner solar system. And in fact, our Earth, although we call it a water world, is really just surface water. So yes, three quarters of Earth's surface is covered by water, but that's about it. Once you go down a few miles, then that's everything and there is no further water down there. On Europa, there is a layer of ice, in fact, a very thick layer of ice, followed by likely a hundred kilometers worth of ocean. And if we estimate, that gives us about the size that we get here, showing that Europa, even though it is much smaller than Earth, has a larger amount of water. Now, this is important because we consider water very important for life. And where we find liquid water, and we expect that there is a large ocean of liquid water beneath the surface ice of Europa, we could expect to find some kind of life there. And that is one of the reasons Europa is one of the likely candidates for life elsewhere in the solar system. So, could we find life somewhere beyond Earth? Well, Mars is one good possibility, and Europa is another one of those, simply because of the liquid water that we know is present. And in fact, there is a spacecraft heading to study Europa, and that is known as the Europa Clipper, scheduled to arrive at Jupiter and study the icy moon in April of 2030. So we've got about five years to wait as it makes its voyage across space all the way out to Jupiter to look and give us a closer look at this moon and maybe answer the question of whether there is life there or possibility of life, or it may raise further questions, things that we didn't even know about as the craft leaves Earth. So that was our picture of the day for October 12th of 2025. It was titled, All the Water on Europa. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Lemon Tail. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.